Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So yesterday, the Windows 11 operating system was officially announced by Microsoft. The main new features include a brand new interface, which to be honest, does look a bit Mac-like. And now there is a new center taskbar with a start menu popping up into the center of the screen. Another interesting feature is the improvement to Windows Snap and the way that the operating system remembers how your windows are arranged, even when you disconnect a monitor and reconnect it later. Gaming as well was also put at the very forefront of this presentation. So they showed us some interesting new features, including this auto HDR feature, as well as improvements to DirectX 12, and then also the implementation of direct storage, as well as other CPU performance enhancements. However, there was a noticeable absence of any announcement to do with Windows 11 on ARM. So if you watch one of my previous videos, I actually had Windows 11, the x86 64-bit version, being virtualized on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and this is running incredibly slow. This is because we're virtualizing an x86 operating system on an ARM chip, and every single process will take much, much longer. I have a 10 times speed increase on this video because the lag was just so great. However, if we had access to a leaked build of Windows 11 ARM, then this would obviously run much, much faster. So this really begs the question, is there going to be a Windows 11 ARM? So I'm fairly certain that Windows 11 ARM will be released at some point. And that's because Windows 11 is a kind of natural evolution of Windows 10. And that's indicated by this announcement that Windows 11 will be a free upgrade from Windows 10. So if you have a Windows 10 license, that will just directly translate into Windows 11, similar to how Windows 8 and Windows 7 directly translated into a Windows 10 license, that will just be carried on. So I suppose technically you could get a Windows 7 license and then upgrade it all the way to Windows 11 even now. So therefore I see the same thing happening to Windows 10 ARM. So Windows 10 ARM will eventually update into Windows 11 ARM and all the current Windows 10 ARM devices which are on the market will be directly upgradable to Windows 11 ARM. So you can see it explicitly stated on the Surface Pro X website. So the Surface Pro X is one of the few computers that actually uses Windows ARM in a commercial retail product. And here it's saying that this laptop is now compatible with Windows 11, which will be released in late 2021 until 2022. So what this is basically saying is that Windows 11 ARM is coming out in that time period and that the older Surface Pro Xs, which run the ARM chips, will be upgradable to Windows 11 ARM. So this is quite an interesting development. It basically means that Microsoft is simultaneously releasing Windows 11, both on the x86 platform and also the ARM chipset too. So another interesting development is the new announcement that Windows will actually run Android apps inside the operating system. So it's not exactly clear how exactly this works, but it's meant to be using a technology called Intel Bridge. Now, Intel Bridge is something that sounds like it should only work on Intel CPUs, but it's reported that this is going to be working on AMD CPUs and also ARM CPUs too. So as an M1 Apple Silicon Mac user, I'm well aware of how apps might function on a desktop computing environment. And to be honest, it's not really that useful outside of you know some niche games that might run, but most games don't really work very well because they don't have touch controls and most applications don't scale properly between the kind of phone or tablet onto the desktop with the mouse and keyboard. Furthermore, sideloading was disabled on the Mac operating system in the later updates. So installing things like Instagram is not actually possible anymore. This is because Apple gave developers the option to be A, not listed on the App Store and B, disable the ability to sideload the app on the desktop. I can't imagine that, say, Instagram would want their app available on the Windows desktop if they didn't want it on the Mac desktop either. And so it's of questionable usefulness because some of the most interesting workflows are possible using apps. And if the developers just don't want to allow it to be displayed or to be used, then they won't list their apps on the Windows App Store. So one of the last questions is going to be, will Windows 11 ARM be available for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac? So if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I've been testing out a lot of gaming on the Parallels virtual machine, and this is obviously running Windows 10 ARM. And this is very impressive because it's an x64 application that's being emulated on an ARM operating system being virtualized through the Parallels virtual machine software. So to get a game like Hellblade running on it is extremely impressive. However, virtualizing an entire operating system just to run a quite intensive game is not really ideal. That's because virtual machines by their nature will consume only around half the resources of the computer. So games like Halo Master Chief Collection will only be able to ever run at half the kind of performance that the M1 is actually capable of. 
The solution to this would be to allow Boot Camp to run Windows ARM natively on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. However, Boot Camp Assistant is not currently enabled. This is despite the fact that the software still exists on Big Sur on the Mac operating system. Now, Apple state that the opportunity to make Windows natively available on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac sits firmly in Microsoft's corner. In this interview from November 2020, Apple states, we have the core technologies for them to do that, to run their ARM version of Windows, which in turn, of course, supports x86 user mode applications. But that's a decision Microsoft has to make, to bring to license that technology for users to run on these Macs. But the Macs are certainly capable of it. So we can see that the M1 chip is very capable of running Windows ARM under parallels in a virtual machine. But in order to unlock the full potential, we'll need to boot camp or multi-boot the Windows ARM operating system, whether that's the Windows 10 ARM of today or the Windows 11 ARM of the future. Right now, Windows ARM is only available on a select number of products, for example, the Surface Pro X and some limited other partners which are delivering OEM versions of the operating system. The version that we're testing on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac under Parallels is merely a technical preview, so it's not actually being licensed to the end user. You can activate your key, but it's not actually a licensable, fully operational product. And not only this, but we would have to have a situation in which Microsoft and Apple work together in order to create the drivers necessary for a native multi-boot Windows ARM to work on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And it can't be understated how complex this is because to actually write drivers for a whole new architecture, we'd have to have these two very large corporations, Microsoft and Apple, work together in order for this to happen. They would need to cooperate for the basic hardware functions to work. For example, the keyboard being able to dim the screen, the trackpad to work, the webcam to work, the speakers to work. All these things need to be written from scratch. All the driver support needs to be there from day one because Apple is not going to release a bootcamp version which is in any way janky, but they want a fully supported method of installing Windows on their computer. So therefore, two things need to happen. A, Microsoft need to write the drivers in cooperation with Apple, and B, Microsoft need to release Windows ARM as an actual retail product. So when Windows 11 ARM comes out, then people can actually buy it. It's not just supplied as an OEM through Surface Pro X or Lenovo, etc. It actually has to be a purchasable product. And therein lies the kind of issue because Microsoft and Apple are natural rivals. They have rivaling ecosystems. And in a sense, if somebody buys an Apple Mac and they subscribe to iCloud and Apple TV, etc., they're directly competing. It's kind of a lost sale for Microsoft. And in the same way, if somebody buys into the OneDrive ecosystem, they start buying apps through the Windows Store, that's kind of a lost sale for Apple too. It's hard to reconcile the natural positions of these two large corporations and the actual desires of the users, because the users, they want the option to be able to boot natively into Windows to unlock that performance, and they want the benefits of both ecosystems. They want to be able to use the reliability of the Mac operating system, but they want to be able to access the apps and games on the Windows ecosystem. So from the user's perspective, it's a win-win, but I can see that corporate interest might prevent Windows Boot Camp from ever becoming a reality. This is a shame because the ARM chip is definitely the future of computing, especially mobile computing. And it seems that these operating systems are really tied into the way that the ARM chip works. And we're gonna be relying on these large corporations to kind of make the decisions for us about what operating system we can use on those ARM chips. So anyway, we are in a very interesting crossroads for the way that the ARM operating system is going to develop in the future. Do you think that Windows 11 ARM will one day make it to the Apple Silicon Mac as a native bootcamp version? If you have any opinions, please leave a comment. If you liked the video or found it useful, please give it a like. Please subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next video.